Well, he's a YouTube internet. Oh, a YouTube internet. A YouTube sen sensation with over 6 million views. That was like a Nana would say, isn't it, on his How to Dad videos. <laughs> and after telling his fans about a challenge to make his kids proud, he's now got his very own show. Please welcome to the cafe, Jordan Watson. Yeah, yeah. Do I clap myself? You can yeah, clap yeah, yourself. It's, it's a bit, it's a bit weird, but you can do it. Um, before you tell us all about your new show, let's take a look at what started it all off. All righty. Uh, yeah, g'day, and welcome to this instructional video on how to hold a baby uh, re revisited. Um, about two years ago, I, I made this. And welcome to this instructional video on how to hold a baby. Uh, first, you're going to need a baby. Baby. Uh, so now let's see if those baby holds still hold true today uh, with, a, with a toddler. Oh! She, she, she's got big. Standard shoulder hold. Reverse standard shoulder hold. Need to pick something up. Chin standard shoulder hold. Chin. Grab something. Just, I just gotta put my chin on. Well, I can't wait until she's 15 and you recreate those. No, don't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Dad, you're so embarrassing. It's still about like, the 10 years. So you've released a how-to dad video practically every single week. Have you found that there have been some that are, you know, far more popular than others? And can you remember them? Yeah, it's, it's that weird thing where you can't, you can't plan like a, a viral video. I'd right. say out of all the ones we've done, we've probably had six or seven go really well, like all around the world, they get picked up. But there's some where I'm like, oh, this was terrible. I'll say to my wife, this one, it's okay, but I don't think, and then bam, the next day it's gone nuts. So you, you can never pick it. I still can't pick and it. It is funny. Day. So where in the world have you have you been picked up? Like where, who's watching oh, you? If you, have, if you have one go big, it's every corner. It's insane. Um, but the big countries that follow are America, UK, Australia are the top ones, Taiwan, Germany, Singapore, it's, it's everywhere. Right? I, yeah. yeah, actually, because I saw an interview when I was in Australia of you on morning TV, Australian TV. Yeah, yeah, they do a live cross and I put on a bit of an Australian accent because they all think I'm Australian. No, I don't. <laughs> they do, they try to claim me all the time. It, it's weird, everyone, because I say g'day, I've committed to saying g'day, which is a uh, by country -il Yeah, it's a term. trans -tale. It's a word, it eh? yeah. country -il. We'll make it, yeah. What do you think, I know I probably asked you this last time you were in, but what do you think makes it connect so well with people? I just think uh, possibly I was the first kind of rough Kiwi dad who's not trying to give you parenting advice. Right. Well, not Kiwi, even anyone. I'm, I'm not trying to force parenting advice. It's, it's a parenting thing without trying to tell you parenting tips. It's a, it's a bit of tongue-in-cheek. Yeah. You know, it's uh, not PC and it's a bit of fun. And so. parents can relate and they need a bit of a laugh because yeah, they're yeah. naked. Yeah, That's the biggest thing It's giving people a bit of a laugh. I'm a parent, I know it is tough, so making these and uh, parents love it and have a giggle, then it's worth it. Yeah. <laughs> you drew the example of what not to do, really. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, you've caught... <laughs> no, I'm just joking. You've cornered that market, though, yep. Jordan. OK, um, speaking of markets that are cornered, uh, you got your own web series all about gumboot throwing? Yeah, well, I... Uh, towards the start of the year I figured I want to do something and not just have my kids know me as that how-to guy when they get older so I thought I'll try and do something a bit epic and try and win the Thai Huppy, the national gumboot throwing competition. Awesome. Okay. Um, so I started training and I posted on Facebook that I wanted to do it and then a, a TV company was keen to come on board and film the whole process so we ended up getting NZ On Air funding and um, they teamed up with YouTube for like a new funding for web people. Um, so we've done a whole documentary series, a web series which is going to go live on my YouTube channel. All about me Wow. Following me all the way to Thai Happy down the country. And it's going live tomorrow. It goes live tomorrow. Like the whole lot. Yep, we're dropping like like Netflix style. We're going to drop right. all five parts all at once, 8 p.m. tomorrow on YouTube. Oh, good. We wow. can binge watch. Um, that would be fascinating. I bet you you met some crazy characters. Yeah, yeah, that was the whole idea. We wanted to make something that is very much like my kind of style, rural New Zealand, nothing stuck in the city. So yeah. it was good to get out and travel around. And I went to my old uh, old club, Tiko for the Gumboot Throwing Club, and we chucked a few gumboots with all the kids. And... <laughs> you had a Gumboot Throwing Club. Yeah, yeah. No way. Most small towns do. Really? Gumboot throwing, it's a big thing. How okay. good are you? Are you any good? I'm, I'm go I can't tell you. You'll have to watch the series oh. to find out. I'm, okay. I'm, yeah. Let's have a look at this clip. I want <laughs> oh, to see what this there. is all about. Yeah, let's have a look. Uh, yeah, g'day. My name's uh, Jordan Watson, or um, how, to, how to Dad. A journey begins. On a quest to impress his two daughters. High five. by becoming New Zealand's best gumboot thrower. This is his story. Legend of the Gumboot.
Oh, I love it. That looks epic. It does, eh? Fancy yeah. and the slow motion gumboot and mm. what much fancier than me with my... Yeah, yeah. and your voiceover, everything. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, just, yeah, it just yeah. says epicness right it's there. A, it's a slick machine. And I want to watch this slick machine, which drops tomorrow, but is there any tips to making the gumboot throwing work? Can you give us any Yeah, tips? well, like, when... It, when I used to do it as a kid, you'd find, you know, everyone's just chucking like this, and now it's got bigger and bigger, and I actually met the, uh, he was the reigning New Zealand champion, he's been, oh, like, if you win here, you go overseas, and so watch it, he, he went to the Olympics, not for gumboot throwing, but he's uh, Brent Newdick, and they do oh, a yeah. discus yeah, throw. Yeah. And so that's the new technique, is a discus spin. Wow. But with a gumboot. But with a gumboot. Um, I've just realised that your shirt is actually a How to Dad shirt. Oh, have you? you? Have totally made it. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to say anything. So but we can buy these online, I take it. You can, you can. <laughs> it's, it's more of a bit of a laugh. I'm not trying to become a, a clothing millionaire or anything, but uh, well, looks someone like said, hey, would you like a custom How to Dad bush shirt? And I said, yes, and now we sell them. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. Okay, well, I'll tell you what, we're going to take a quick break. Uh, we'll check in with Holly, but then when we come back. Um, I know you, can, you can't throw a gumboot in here. Can we throw that? But you can, can show can us some of the techniques. I should have cleaned it, I'm sorry. Oh, but no, yeah, I'll show you a bit of mud. technique. And uh, also we might have another little challenge, some gumboot flipping. Yeah, we'll see Can you show me go. how to yeah, do that? Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Well, we'll do that. We'll get a lesson. Well, we are back with How To Dad, legend of the gumboot, Jordan Watson, and we're going to have our very own gumboot throwing. What well, kind of flipping technique going on here? But yeah. you're going to show us some of the techniques. Well, we can't throw well, I can't throw. I'll show you how they throw. So the yeah. old traditional one is like everyone would. You grab it there, yeah. cock it back, yeah. give, it a, give it a hurl. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but the, like, the new age style is they've even got a fancy hold. You... You grab it like this. Yes. You step back, and if you if that's where you're throwing it, yeah, it's a full on wind it up, spin, pirouette, right. and go and hurl. Oh, right. it sounds so, like there's a lot more room for error there. Yeah, there is. The kind of hurl. Yeah. And so, what sort of meter? How far are they getting it? Um, the the top guys, like the top in the world, are throwing it about 60 meters. Um, New Zealand, we get we're getting close. Are we stack up yeah, all right with yeah, the rest this, of them. It's not a. Uh, I, no, I don't think we're getting right up there. Right. Who's it's, the best? Who's the best in the world? I. I I should have done more research. research. <laughs> so I'm not really like the gumboot guy. I'm just a guy who tried to be a right. gumboot guy. guy. Okay. I'm not the gumboot um, guy. Do you want to give us a little a, a demo on how we can do some flipping? Should yeah, we, we can't. That? We can't throw, obviously, no. but um. Oh, we could, I, but it would well, end badly. Yeah, I, I did a, a, a little tongue-in-cheek video about gumboot flipping, where like the water bottle flip oh, challenge, yes. which oh, was yeah. all the kids do. My you flip a gumboot and you land it like that. this, first time. <laughs> you guys can cut that, cut that bit out. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, sure. Well, yeah. Just, uh, it's okay, just cool. like, uh... oh. um, so, so basically, what you just do is you grab the boot and. Oh, <laughs> I, I hope you guys got heaps of um, time. Yes. Yay! Yay! Okay, okay go, Mel, go. Okay, go. This is good. Um, did you? Is this like mud we can buy to wipe on our gum boots? Is that something you sell at your store too? No, that was just just oh. me doing some general stuff at home, getting dirty. Because he's legit and real, you know. Oh, oh man, what I was that? that? You went for like a fancy three flip, just single flip. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, we could probably on. have a cup of tea. This is going to be wild. <laughs> oh, Jordan, come on. Hey, he's doing it right handed. We just both did it left handed. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a little awkward. Okay, Mark, do you want to go? Come on over, come on over, come on over. And then you get extreme and you land it on the hob. The bench oh, back there. Oh, yes. Yeah. Okay. I should have been watching, should I? So <laughs> obviously. Oh, see, so you didn't oh, like it. You did too many things. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a chef trigger to fall. Okay, so the flipping's a bit of fun, and we can all do that at home. Lots of people have okay, gumboots at home. Yeah. But when it comes to the actual throwing, how much training do you have to do? Like, is it pretty physical? Well, that's the. It's actually, it's much serious, much more serious sport than you think. Like when right. you find out about it, it's uh, you first is like uh, there's they've got the regional stuff you can go in. You win that, you then have to go to the, your North Island champs or South Island champs, and there's a the nationals. And if you win that. The best male and female get flown for free around the world to go and go in the, the worlds. So for training, basically I just had to mould the dad bod a bit better. So right. I was trying to eat well, did a lot of egg sculling because nice. that's yeah. what athletes do. <laughs> um, yeah, no. Ugh, okay, yeah, well that sounds fascinating. That, yeah. And I'm really looking forward to this web series because yeah. it, it sounds like it's quite serious business, the old gumboot throwing. It is, it's a serious business and we've, we've tried to make it into a fun uh, documentary there and uh, launches, yeah, tomorrow, 8pm. Oh,
Nice Rural New Zealand tomorrow, on the 8 web screen. Excellent. <laughs> that is really good to know. Uh, thank you so much. All yeah, good. Thanks. Thank That's you. great. And for the top and everything. Uh, right, no, fantastic. Looking forward to that. Oh, oh that was going to be my cup of tea, Jordan. That was going to be my cup of tea. <laughs>